Hello, everybody. It's week three of the NFL. We are 318 on the East Coast. That's AM, Sunday morning, the 27th of September. Everybody can thank Sam. I mean, leave a comment below and say thank you, Sam, because Sam subscribed to the NFL file yesterday and basically pushed me to do all this programming work on predicting the NFL games for this weekend. So you can all thank Sam. Um, you will see exactly how much effort I put into this, and I actually think it's going to be valuable. Let me tell you why. Oh, my God, what have we done? So one has become two. And what I mean by that is I have two files now. We've got one using 2019 team stats in the formula and the algorithm calculations. And we have another one that is using 2020 team stats. That's right, current season, the first two games of the year stats are in here. The reason why we did this was, well, let's, let's talk about that. The reason why we did this is we had a game on Thursday night. It was Jacksonville and Miami, right? I was leaving Miami just before that game. And it was Jacksonville, Miami. And what it had said was that Jacksonville was going to win this game. It actually said 37-29 when I did it on Thursday, but I've reprogrammed the point projection since then. It had Jacksonville winning, though. It was consistent with that. It had Jacksonville winning. Jacksonville got smoked. So I was like, well, wait a minute. Why did this happen? And the answer is, well, it happened because Miami's defense last year was in the negative, their defensive SRS rating, which is here. If you look at Miami's rating, in 2019, look at this. Their rating was negative. Their defensive rating was negative 9.1. It was miserable. They had terrible defense last year. Well, as of before the Thursday game, uh, this week, Miami's defensive rating was, where are you, Miami? They were at 5.2. This was before the Jacksonville game on Thursday night. This is 2020 stats. Actually, not 2019. It's 2020 stats. And so it's like, wait a minute. Miami's defense is much, much better this year. And that, when you figure it into the point projections, you know what happens? This is what happens. Right? In, in the 2020 version, remember, green up here means 2020. And red's going to mean 2019. Where'd my teams go? Where'd you guys go? I don't know where my slicer went. We're going to add a slicer here. This is going to be a long video, guys. There's a lot to discuss. You will see why. Where's the team? Team, 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 team. A reference. Boom. We were talking about Miami and Jacksonville. And what you do to add uh, to, to add more columns in these slicers is you go up here and change the columns in the slicers. And we can start to see all the teams together. And we're going to click on Jacksonville and Miami. Boom and Miami here. So what we had is we actually had Miami winning this game 22-17 according to 2020 team stats. So everybody that lost on my pick on Thursday night, well, that's because I didn't do enough work on this file before Thursday. And we would have seen that there was a conflict when you look at 2020 stats against 2019 stats. What does all this mean three and a half minutes in? It means we have to look at both files when we are doing our handicapping. So, oh boy, oh boy, let's do that. Do we, what we're going to do, I mean, when it's conflicting, when 2019 says one thing and 2020 says another thing, maybe that's going to mean stay away. When they're consistent, maybe it's going to mean play them. I don't know. Let's take a look. I have not done this yet. So we're going to go through this in the whole video because I'm super busy, as you know. All right. So. What I've done is I've, scored, I've sorted this by projected margin of victory. We also have win score here as well. So we're going to look at both of those because you can look at this a few different ways. I mean, you can sort this also and say instead of margin of victory, we want to do win, win score and you get a different order of things, right? Um, so I, I like this other way, though. The, this, the, the point projections are going to be more reliable. Now, in the 2019 version, maybe not so much. Maybe it's going to be the 2020 version that's better, right? Well, let's go down the list and figure this out. Let's start with the 2020 version, given that it was more reliable in the Thursday night game in Miami versus Jacksonville. So what do we have? We have a surprise. We have Rams over the Bills um, as our number one point projection game. What the heck? Um, they're, a, they're a dog, according to Vegas. We have them winning 30 to 18. Well, let's look at the 2019 version of that game. 
Uh, that game, where are you, Rams? Rams are... Where are you, Rams? You guys are losing, right? According to the 2019 version, Buffalo wins this game barely. So here we have a conflict, and we have something that says that according to 2020 stats, the Rams are surprisingly good here. I mean, number one pick by point projection. Very interesting, and they have a win score, but it doesn't really agree in 2019. So what do you do? Well, I think given the fact that 2020 is saying this, I guess the Rams is a straight bet on the money line. It's not a bad idea because this is just so odd that this is number one on here. And, it, you know, what we're going to find is we're going to find stuff that Vegas isn't going to see right away because of all the different stats that we're bringing in here in one shot and the comparison that we're making. So Rams are maybe a bet, I guess. Tennessee and the Vikings. This is this uh, after Minnesota is a miserable team this year. I mean, I had Minnesota in the algorithm last week. Last week the algorithm had a great week, but Minnesota was basically the one real bad game that we lost. And they don't have Stephon Diggs anymore. Kirk Cousins. I mean, we kicked him out of Washington Football Club back when they were at the Washington Football Club for a reason. So it, I, they, they're just miserable. So it likes Tennessee. Uh, here's like some 28 to 16. They're, they have a big win score percentage when it comes to 2020. Let's get a confirmation on that from 2019 just to see if it's also, if Tennessee's also favored. The answer is yes. Tennessee is favored. Oh, no. It's not favored by win strength, but it is barely favored by point projection. So this is another one of those things where, according to 2020, Tennessee at minus 150, good pick here, right? Chargers against the Panthers. Really likes the Chargers, thinks they're going to win 23-14. Vegas clearly agrees, thinks they're going to cover the spread. Let's take a look at 2019. You see, we're going to eventually phase out this 2019 file. But as for right now, see, 2019 loves the Chargers. So in this situation, also thinks they're going to cover spread. So this is one of the strongest picks of the week because it's confirming in both files and saying, hey, we really like the Chargers. We think they're going to cover the spread. We think they're going to put up somewhere in the mid-20s of points, it looks like. 26, between 26 and 23 points. And that they should hold the Panthers to between 14 and 17 points. That is what that is saying. Let's go back to more 2020 here. Seahawks and Cowboys. Likes the Seahawks. Cowboys, as I was driving through Texas last week, listening to them come back from down 20 points. That was fun. Are they going to pull that again in in the smoky Seattle? I don't I don't think so, right? And neither does Vegas. Vegas also has Seahawks favored by five. We have them winning by eight in this 2020 version and a very good win strength percentage. So uh, that looks pretty good. Let's confirm that in 2019. And Seattle is where right here. Seattle is. Also favored to win 26-24 based on 2019 stats. Doesn't have them by win strength, but like I said, 2020 I think is probably going to start to be more reliable. So Seattle's probably a pretty good pick. The money line's not that great, and it's close on the spread. So kind of a tough pick, but does think they're going to win the game money line-wise. That's probably a good bet on the money line. Colts and Jets. Yeah, Jets are terrible. Colts winning 19-11. Look at this minus 650. Look at this spread that we do not agree with. We think that they're only going to win by about eight. Let's take a look at 2019. Indianapolis is favored more so in 2019, yet still only winning by five in point projections. So believe it or not, it likes the Jets plus 11 and a half. Who wants to play on the bet on the Jets, especially when Indianapolis is at home? Ugh, I, I don't like anything about that game, but of course, never listen to me and always listen to the algorithm. Washington Football Club against the Browns. According to 2020 stats, you got a win for the old Redskins. They're plus 275. What is going on here? They're away. Okay, okay. This, this is nuts. Um, this is craziness. This is because Cleveland got pounded by Baltimore in week one, perhaps. It's got the, all right, well, well, according to this, it's saying take Washington plus the seven points uh, because they're supposed to win by seven points according to the 2020 stats. Let's take a look at 2019. 2019 has a tie uh, of 18 to 18, but the win strength is really low. So one thing that's consistent on both of those is take Washington plus seven, um, even though they're away and they're going to have to play defense against uh, ODB. But um, 
But yeah, so they likes Washington plus seven there. So there's that. Uh, Baltimore and the Chiefs, that's a Monday night game. It does think Baltimore wins by almost a touchdown, so thinks they're going to cover the spread. Kansas City had a scary game last week. Boy, Baltimore really strong early in the year. Let's see what it says 2019-wise. Even though Kansas City won, they won the Stanley Cup last year. No, they, they, won the, uh, they won the championship last year. Where are they? Their favor, oh, it's a tie, point projection-wise. And they were, no, Baltimore would still have been favored by win strike. So it's kind of consistent that Baltimore is supposed to win that game in both of the year's files. So there's that. Miami and Jacksonville. Would have been nice if we had seen this before Thursday night. We don't have to go over that game again. Um, but as you can see, 2020 stats would have been right. 2019 stats were wrong. Arizona and Detroit. Here's something interesting. 23-18 Arizona. Arizona's got a high win strike. Kyler Murray, DeAndre Hopkins playing well. They are at home if that matters for them against Detroit. What about last year's stats without DeAndre Hopkins? How does that match up? And the answer is it would have been a tie last year, 22-22. Didn't they tie each other last year? I think they actually had a tie last year. I know Arizona had one. Um, and Arizona would be favored even by win strength because Detroit's in, at a negative. So I think I think you stick with the hot Arizona. I mean, that's, look at Arizona minus 250. The line's not good, and the spread is super close, super close. We have them winning by five. It's five and a half. So it's a tough game to play other than probably Arizona on the money line, which is more reliable there. Cincinnati against the Brutal Eagles. Cincinnati favored with their new quarterback. What's his name? I can't remember. Gallup or Gillum or no, I don't know. Name in cities in Texas and people who ran for governor of Florida and lost. I, all right, Cincinnati uh, should win by five points. Boy, Vegas cutting it close with our spread. Wait a minute, plus one eighty. Hold on a second. That's plus four to five. You're telling me the Eagles are favored? What? They're playing terrible. They're playing terrible. Cincinnati's going to win this game, right? Oh, my goodness. You take Cincinnati plus the points and maybe even throw a straight bet on that plus 180 money line. That's ridiculous. That might be the best odds of the week on a team. What did it say last year? For 2019, Philly should have – this is what people are going off of. Philly should win this game by two based on 2019 stats and has a strong win strength. That's why – Vegas is seeing that, but you are seeing something in the 2020 version of this file that says, nope, it says Cincinnati wins this game by five. I, I like Cincinnati a lot, but never trust me. Always trust the algorithms right in front of you. All right, so Atlanta, the Bears, thinks Atlanta comes off that awful game at blue last week and wins by four. Once again, our odds are really close to what Vegas is predicting. How about last year? Last year, it also would have favored Atlanta slightly by one point. So Atlanta does probably pull out a win. Minus 165, I guess, is reasonable. But their win strength is actually, sorry, their win strength is actually negative here. So it's only the point projections that are pulling them ahead. So this is actually more of a toss-up game. Be very careful there. Very, very careful. There. That really is, does, it really says don't pick anybody. Saints and Packers. Thinks the Saints win by point projections. Thinks the Packers win by win strength. Yuck, that's a tough call. That's going to be a very, very good game. The Saints are home. Um, they they fell apart last against the Raiders in Las Vegas on Monday night, so they're coming off, of, I guess, a slightly short week. I like, I like Green Bay here, um, which is going to be a dog. What happens for 2019 stats in that game? It favors... Green Bay by point projections, but it favors the Saints by win strength. Yeah, all kinds of conflicts all over the place on that game. Extremely tough game to pick. Uh, so I don't know what to do with that. Denver and Tampa Bay. Slight, slight, slight waiver toward, directioning toward Denver winning this game at home. Has them winning by three. They are what? They are a six-point dog to Brady in Denver. Aren't Brady's old bones going to be all crusty and painful in the Denver chill air? I mean, we're getting the end of September. Does, can he suck in enough oxygen up there? I don't know. I, this is a sneaky game. That's a great line for Denver. So we've got we've got this, this file saying definitely take Denver plus six. Last year doesn't really matter because you don't have Brady and Gronk, but as for last year, yeah, it would, have, it would have favored Denver by point projections again, but not by win strength also. So 
a, a tough, tough game, but it looks like Denver plus the points is probably a sneaky play there. Um, then we've got Giants and, and, um, and 49ers. Now, there's a problem in this game, and I know what's going on here. So I think Garoppolo is out and not being included in the point projections here. So it has their, it has their, um, yeah, it has their, let's look at that. San Francisco, you see why I charge people for this, because it takes forever to do this work. Yeah, they're going with Nick Mullins, I believe, is who's going to start. So there's no Garoppolo, so he's not playing, and Nick Bosa's hurt. Ugh, um, th th this, is a, this is a really tough game to pick, given that everybody's out. If anything, uh, let's go back to picks here. If anything, you can see that, you see they're only plus 150, the Giants, is that Vegas is aware that, that the Niners are a team that has basically been not hit by the coronavirus, but hit by the injury virus. And we don't know what's going to happen here. And there might not be points. Um, so, or there might be interceptions. And there might be a bunch of points. I would say don't trust the algorithm here simply because I know it's not compiling proper information because so many key people are hurt. So that's a very tough game to call there. Raiders and Patriots. Barely a win for the Raiders. Oh my goodness. Look at that. And they're plus 240. Likes the Raiders plus six and a half. I like the Raiders plus six and a half there. You know, there's everybody goes to Vegas and starts playing better. That's what happens. Last year, I'm not even gonna look at last year because they were in Oakland last year, right? So let's just look at 2020 for this one. Sneaky game, plus six and a half, probably a good pick. Texans and Steelers. This one's way down at the bottom, shows a tie. So I guess you're looking at Houston and Pittsburgh plus four and a half. How about last season? What would, what would last season say to that? Last season would like Pittsburgh up top here, but doesn't like them by win strength, but likes them to win the game by five. So really, that's why it's it's down here in the middle of things um, and, and a really tough game to pick. Let's take one more look at this, resorting it by win score, just to show you what that looks like in 2020. Likes Arizona on top, Tennessee, Indianapolis, because this is kind of the view that I give you when we go over the profit. Um, we, we can look at it either way, but I like I do. Yeah, I love Tennessee over Minnesota. Minnesota just blows. That that's my lock of the week is Tennessee on the money line at minus one fifty. Even though that's in Minnesota, I think you see Minnesota starting off the season zero and three, and Derek Henry Henry's just going to run all over them from from both of the Twin Cities, from St. Paul to Minneapolis. He's just going to run over them. So I, I think that's going to happen. Uh, you got the Jets are miserable, but there's something freaky about the point projections here. So something's going on. Even though the Jets don't really have much of a defense, I don't know what's doing that. And then you, that's the Monday night game. So I don't know. I feel like I've given enough advice 18 minutes in. Um, you can see it's a lot of work, and we will eventually phase out this 2019 file. Hopefully I can phase this thing out this week. So this will be the last week. As you can tell, we kind of glossed over a lot of the predictions in here because simply we understand that this was last season, but you know, don't trust everything in here. There's only been two games. And so it's not enough to really get everything. Like probably one of the reasons why this point projections off and maybe Indianapolis is going to win this game by more is simply because they had a rough game against Jacksonville in week one. And I mean, who knows? I don't, but anyway, point is, is this evolves as we go. So Good luck, everyone. If you do one thing, watch Tennessee beat Minnesota and probably watch Arizona beat Detroit also. But really, watch Tennessee's a lock of the week. So go Tetons.